every company has a brand and style. It might not be formal, but it's there. If you look at your SharePoint site, would you say it follows your company's branding? If not, then this video is for you. Because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to change your SharePoint colors and fonts so your site always looks on brand. I've opened the standard SharePoint communication site to show you where SharePoint keeps most of its look and feel options. From the landing page of the site, we can click on this gear icon, go to change the look, and you'll see options to customize your theme and fonts. If you don't see change the look option on your site, you may not have sufficient access and may need to ask your IT to give you the site owner permissions to the site. Otherwise, click on the theme and look at all the color options available to us. If you select a different theme here, watch this. The colors on the page change instantly. To customize main and accent color, just click customize. There are some limited options here for now, and I'll show you how to add custom colors in a minute. Let me first explain where these colors are used. The main color is automatically used by most elements on the page like navigation, buttons, text, and background sections. Accent color should be used sparingly to give a bit of a punch to the page. There are very few places on the page where Microsoft lets you pick the accent color. So basically, the whole theme mostly comes down to this main color and the shades of that main color. The good news is that there is a way to add more color and I'll show you how in a bit. Okay, let's add our custom main color so our site is in line with our company's branding. Here I have a branding guide for my fictional company, Blue Bay Credit Union. The Blue Bay Credit Union uses dark navy blue as the main color and the bright shade of blue as an accent color. Let's create a new theme for our SharePoint pages that uses these colors. For that, I'll go back to gear and click on site branding. This is a new place in SharePoint where site owners can build a custom theme and use a custom font on the SharePoint site with no coding. Let's start by clicking the new theme button to select our colors. I'll set dark navy blue as my primary color and my text color. For the background color, I'll keep white and for the accent color, I'll select the bright shade of blue. Then I'll click next and set my theme name to Blue Bay, just like the name of my fictional company. Now we click Save and our theme is ready to go. Let's see how this theme turned out on a page. Click on the gear icon, change the look, theme, and here is Blue Bay, our custom theme we've just built. Let's click on it. Nice. My navigation, buttons, and even text are now in dark navy blue exactly as required in my branding guidelines. But wait a minute, where is my accent color? Without the accent color, this page looks a bit monotone. Surprisingly, Microsoft web parts make almost no use of secondary colors. But don't worry, here are three alternative ways to show more colors on any page. Number one, you can add images with your accent colors. For example, here I added an image with my accent color to a countdown timer web part. Now my page has a bit of a color variety. You can do the same with other web parts that let you add images. Number two, you can add your accent color to the text web part on the page. This is a new feature. We can go to the text web part and make the text have a different color than my main color. And number three, you can use origami and have a complete creative freedom of how your site looks like and truly make it look like a website. Skip to the end of the video if you want to know more. Now that we've learned about colors, how do you use custom fonts in our SharePoint pages? Our fictional company, Blue Bay Credit Union, uses Interblack for their headings and Intermedium for body text on their website. Let's make our SharePoint site use these fonts too. First, we need to add our fonts to SharePoint Brand Center, a site where SharePoint keeps all your company custom fonts. Brand Center is a new feature and your company may not have set it up yet. To be sure, send the appendix section of this video to your IT so they can set it up and give you a Brand Center URL. Once you have your Brand Center up and running, you can go to its URL that looks like this. 
Before you can upload your fonts, your IT also needs to give you contributor access to the Brand Center site. Brand Center site looks like a blank SharePoint site at first, but if you click Settings, Brand Center, you'll be able to see more options. Once you upload custom fonts, you'll be able to see them listed here and use them across all the other sites in your SharePoint. So where do you get custom font files? Usually, font files are part of your company's brand kit, and you can get them from your marketing team. The supported font file formats are these. As you can see, I already uploaded my font files here, but there is still one more step required. I'll need to go back to my SharePoint site to create a new SharePoint font package. Let's click on Font Packages tab, add new font package, and select our display and content fonts. Now I'll choose Inter for both of these and click Next. For the title, Headline and Interactive, I'll use Inter Black, and for the body, I'll use Inter Medium. Click Next and give this font package a name. I'll call it Inter, just like the font we're using. And our font package is ready. Now that your font package is created, you can go back to your site, click gear icon, change the look, fonts, and look, our new font package is available. Do you see how the fonts on the page have changed? Our banner, text, buttons now all share the same bold font. This font looks good when it's used for the page text, but it's not easy to read in web parts like this banner. SharePoint doesn't let you select which font to use where in a web part, and that's a bit of a problem. One of the ways around it is to use images with the font you want in your banners. You can even add your accent color next to the text to make your banner stand out. You can do a lot with images. See how I use an image here as a section heading. It has my corporate font with a splash of accent color on the bottom border. The problem with using images is that you'll have to create them in some other application. It takes time. Also, it doesn't solve the problem with the other web parts on the page. For example, I can't change the font size of my quick links and other elements. That brings me to my favorite alternative, using origami. Customers who purchased origami instantly gain creative freedom to make their SharePoint look like a website. With origami banners, you can select specific font, change the size and the boldness of your text. That's great. But look at this. I can even personalize my text to call my visitors by their name, adding a personal touch to my SharePoint pages. Origami doesn't just use one primary color and makes decisions for how your web parts should look. You can select specific colors for your brand and make various web parts and even elements within the web part look just right. Watch this. Here I recreated the same news heading we've had before as an image, only this time I'm using origami heading web part. Now I can change the text right here, select different heading styles, and even make my heading text color have a gradient. All 34 of origami components plug right into SharePoint and offer on-brand styling in just a few clicks. You can build a SharePoint design of your dreams. You can change any color, shape, and position. And the best part? You can do it with no coding. Just like you see here, you add a web part to a page and you can customize it just like any other SharePoint web part. No additional training required. Here are a few examples of SharePoint pages we've built with origami web parts. Onboarding page with new hire welcomes, documents, and an onboarding timeline. A personalized homepage with quick links, kudos, calendar, news, KPIs, and a staff directory. A search-centric homepage with post carousel, social corner, and employee anniversaries. These page templates come with every origami installation and can be easily customized to match your company's colors and style in minutes. So at the end, you'll get a fully branded SharePoint that looks like a website. Now let's move on to the appendix section of this video and talk about the steps IT needs to take to create a brand center. If your organization is new to Microsoft Brand Center, 
you will need to go over these quick steps to set it up before anyone can use it. To enable the Brand Center, log in as a Microsoft 365 admin and follow these steps. Navigate to admin.microsoft.com. On the left-hand side navigation, under the Settings category, click on Org Settings. In the scrollable middle section, find the link to Brand Center and click on it. In here, you can just leave the default site name and title. Check the box that says, I agree to activate public CDN. This is what's going to be used to host fonts. Click Create Site. And in just a few seconds, the button that said Create Site will change to Go to SharePoint Admin Center. This is so you can now find your new Brand Center site and give authorized users access to it. Click on the button that says Go to SharePoint Admin Center. In a newly opened window, search for the site that says Brand Guide or whatever the name you chose for it in an earlier step. Set up permissions as necessary and you are done. Now you can send the link to the Brand Center to authorized users that will be in charge of font and theme maintenance.